This tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut, has already ignited a national conversation about guns, as we've just seen. But how about the other half of this, mental illness? Think of the component it's been in all the serious gun crimes we have covered. One in 17 Americans lives with a serious mental illness. That's according to the government. And their symptoms range in severity, of course, but fewer than a third of them receive treatment. We've asked our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, to join us again to talk about this. It is the other component in all those cases we know about because of the name of the place, the it ones is. we'll always And remember. just think of it, Brian, Columbine, Virginia Tech, Aurora, you start to see a pattern. And what is that pattern? Anger, loneliness, social awkwardness, and of course, access to guns. And the number that Brian referenced, one out of 17, underscoring that only one third of those people get any kind of mental health problem. So here's the real concern. Less than 10 percent of our health care dollars are spent on mental health care. And that means that the very wealthy can pay out of pocket. The very poor, there's a little bit of a safety net with Medicaid and everyone in between basically falls through that safety net. And that's what really has a lot of people concerned today. One person who we spoke with, a father who has battled the privacy issues that sometimes bar parents from getting access to their kids' records, said tonight, and I'm going to quote him, he says, it's easier to get an assault rifle today in the United States than it is to get adequate mental health care, and that's wrong. And I think speaking on behalf of parents like you and me and American citizens, you cannot disagree with that statement, Brian. That's a heck of a powerful quote. Nancy, we're going to continue to cover this starting tomorrow night. Thank you very much for being here with us.